Yo, YouTube, this is Jordan Steele, 88, coming at you with another video. The title of this video, Penguins vs. Blue Jackets Game Recaps. Let's get into it. So, the Penguins lose to the Columbus Blue Jackets in overtime, 3-2. I mean, Chris Letang got a power play goal just, just in the first period to kickstart the Penguins somewhat. And then one of the Blue Jackets answered with their goal on their own. And then in the second period, they just, I think they got their, some ice zone time on, on the ice. They got a couple of shots on goal, but weren't able to score. So, and then one of the, I think one of the Blue Jackets answered with their goal with, with a one-on-one -one tie, probably in the second period. But in the third period, Jake Gessel got that power play goal going to keep the 2 1 lead. And then, of course, the third period woes continue for this team. It's been going on all season for the Penguins. Third period woes. The, the Columbus Blue Jackets tied, tied the game up with a, their power play goal on their own. It's just ridiculous. And that game was an overtime, and Trisha and Jari was stifled on that, on that power play, on that. Overtime goal game winner by Columbus. And I got to say, what the hell was that, Jari? And I, I was reading something on Twitter. And he, he said he was been hurt all. Man, no, no shit, dude. You've been inconsistent ever since you got hurt. Since that Boston game, since that Bruins game on that rare classic. So this is so we end this. This is the Penguins end the season with a second straight loss. What the hell was that? Just ridiculous. It's just, it's just ridiculous how this hockey team does not know how to close games. It's just beyond me, especially we got the court of Latang, Crosby, and Malkin, who've been on this team a long time. It's just ridiculous. Ridiculous. So we lost to we lost our sixth straight game to a team that has the worst record in hockey. Lose to the Blackhawks who are below 500. Lose when they ever since they get rid of Patrick Kane. And you lose to the Columbus Blue Jackets, who have been god awful all season. Just playing down the competition. No different from the Steelers, man. Just playing down the competition. So, and you lose in overtime to the Blue Jackets? A team that seems to be tanking? That's prophetic. That's This hockey team is so prophetic that I can't even imagine. So prophetic. So prophetic about this hockey team. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Because most of the goals we got in that game were power play goals. Just ridiculous. Enough with the game recap. This is a final recap of the season. Not going to the playoffs, so it is what it is. Let's look at the stats. The final stats with the Penguins this year. Goals, two. Shots, 36 on goal. Block shots, 11. Hits, 14. Face-offs, 28. Power play, perfect, two for two. On the road. Doesn't matter though. Penalty minutes, eight minutes combined. Chris Tang got the got a power play goal in the first period. Jay Gizzle got a power play goal in the third period. Penalty minutes. Jeff Carter, two minutes hooking. Dimitri Kulikov, two minutes hooking. Mikhail Granlin, two minutes holding. Alice Nylander, two minutes high sticking. Player stats. Sidney Crosby, two points on two assists. J. 
Jake Gibbs, a point on goal. Chris Latane, two points on goal and assist. Rashard Raquel, a point on the assist. And goal for the night, Tristan Jory. Give up three goals, 30, 34 saves, save percentage, 91%. Total ice time, 61 minutes. That was a prophetic end of the season for the Pittsburgh Penguins. If I ever seen one. Just prophetic. Straight up prophetic. Prophetic ending for the Pittsburgh Penguins to, to end the season with two straight losses to the teams that had the worst record. That's insane. Just ridiculous. This hockey team has been all year, especially in the third period, all season. Just don't know how to close out games. So that about do it for this video. This is so prophetic. So the Penguins losing overtime three to two to the worst team in hockey. So that about do it for this video. This is Jordan Steele, 88, as, as I close out the Penguins, final Penguins video of the, the season. So this is going to be might be the this is going to be the last recap for the Penguins since we're not in the playoffs. So so anyway, this is Jordan Steele eighty eight. Like, comment, subscribe for more Pittsburgh post. Excuse me, subscribe for more Pittsburgh sports content and subscribe for more more sports or other sports on my content. And hold on, one other thing. Excuse me, excuse me, people. I'm sorry. And I've been hearing rumors and from the Penguins that they might fire Ron Hextall and the other guy. I forgot his name. Now, if they do fire Ron Hextall like tomorrow or in the next couple of days, I'll be a happy guy. Because Ron Hextall is going to destroy this franchise as long as he's in the front office. Because Ron Hextall is the worst GM. He destroyed the Flyers, Flyers franchise. And he's in, if he's in here another year, another season, he's going he gonna to bring it right down to the ground. So, I'm sorry I had to put it out there. But, but anyway, this is George Steele, 88. Like, comment, subscribe for more Pittsburgh sports content and other sports content on my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, for the final time on this recap, let's go Pens.